My name is Omar, and um, I attended Longwood High School. I had my few ups and downs there. When I went there, I had trouble with authority, listening to authority, following rules. I would walk around the hallways, skip class, and I'll always be suspended or in detention or something involved with that. Then eventually they sent me to Center Reach Academic Center, which is now ISLIP. Once I got there, I didn't really like it because I didn't really know anyone. And the first week I got accused of smoking a cigarette in the bathroom. <laughs> and um, after that, I started getting used to it, started making new friends. Then I started working in the shop class with Dave. Once I got to the shop class, it was the best time of my life because I was always working on something new. I loved working on projects, hands-on. And there was a lot of different support and help with all the teachers and aides that helped me get through the day and helped me accomplish my goal without getting into any trouble and having to stay any extra time there. I was able to graduate earlier than my required date, which was June 21st. I was able to graduate January 20, no, January 26, 2017. And that just made me realize what I wanted to do in my future career, which is architecture. Taking six courses that pertain to my major, and after the six courses are over, I will move on to a four-year school in order to accomplish my goals. It feels good that I'm accomplishing my goals and I'm working to stay on the same path until my goal is accomplished. I want to thank Center Reach Academic which is actually academic now, for all the help and support that they gave me while I was there. My name is Ruben Rodriguez. I'm 16. Um, I came from Longwood High School. Um, it was kind of hard because, you know, it was reactions with the teachers. I wouldn't I wasn't trying to be in class, you feel me? And then they put me in another another alternative school, which is called Sunshine Prevention Center. And then I got in trouble in there, arguing with females and whatnot. And like when I blew up, I blew up like it was like nobody could stop me, nothing. And now it's like I can walk away from situations, from certain situations. For that light bulb to go off. You know, well, was that like an event that went just, down? Or it was just that? seeing like how everybody else is and the way they act and like, you feel me? It made me laugh like, oh, this is what they probably think about me when I'm doing that. Like, So I decided to switch it up and you know, like I live a different lifestyle from a lot I'm 16, I live by myself on my own. I don't live with my mother, I don't live with my father, I don't see my brothers and sisters every day. Like, especially BOCES, this BOCES right here is a good program. It, help, it, can, it can help a lot of kids. Yeah, cause I've been in this program going on for two years already. I'm in 11, I was here. I was in alternative school, Sunshine, ninth grade year, 10th grade year I came here. and. Then before, you feel me, I used to think I knew how to bake, I used to think everything was so easy, and then I tried it, and it was just a big failure, and now, like, I feel like I could do anything in the world now, like, I can cook anything, anything you put in front of me, I'll chef it up, season it, all that, like, <laughs> feel me, like, this school is, I like, I, I like this school, like, the trades, they, it, this school right here basically sets up it sets your lifestyle, like, you can either come here and do hair, you can come here and do tech, come here and do culinary, whatever you really decide that makes you feel more comfortable. Me, I like culinary, so that's what I pick. But from there, I was homeschooled. And then I came at the end of um, end of the June, right? Mm -hmm. End of June, then then I started. Then like from there, I'm trying to work my goal to to succeed to go back. 
but being here in the school, by being Mr. Mahomey class, and being barber in school, having um, haircuts with the clippers, like know the tools, know what to use, not what to use, not mix chemicals, make sure you put everything back, and it's, it's just a great class to be in. Do you think this class is helping you focus more in your academics? Yes. Why? Because it's like more like I could do it as a part-time job. Because it's more it's fun to do, cut people hair, get to meet new people. And it's very cool. Um, you're in tenth grade, mm -hmm. so that means you could be with us till you graduate. Yeah. Um, what do you like about being in a smaller center like this than, say, at Ross, which is huge? Yeah, it's a big school. It's a little... And get greater as the year goes on? Of course. Why? Because it's like, it's a lot of things to do in life. Still got a lot ahead of, ahead of me. Two more years left. So it's like, still more opportunities out there. And can you see how you've grown? Do you think you've grown, or do you think you've kind of stayed the same? Since your altercation, no, I grew because I realized the mistakes, the actions. So I'm like, yeah, I gotta change that. And you're the only one that can change that. Yeah. Hi, my name is Alexis. Um, I used to go to Longwood School District, but I got kicked out for fighting a lot, and. Um, they sent me to um, Islip Academic, Academic Center. Um, I think it's better because it's a smaller setting. It helps me a little bit. And teachers are nice and stuff. Um, I like to cook in class. It's one of my favorite classes. I like to cook in there. We learn new stuff. And then I can go home and show my family what I learned. And when I... Um, when I'm done out of here graduating, I'm hoping to go to a nursing school. And...